Today is the day that Frank Cambria wondered if he'd ever seen a career firefighter who has been in more life and death moments than he can even recall. But he made it. 42 years later, he retired today. Perhaps you may not know his name, but he and his family are legendary within the fire service ranks. How are you? How are you? For firefighter Frank Cambria, it's been the long and winding road. After 42 years on the job at CFD, he's turning the corner, retiring as battalion chief. Today's here. It, it, it's hard to believe. I thought I'd never see this day. You know, it just, it, it came up so quick. 42 years, it, it was like yesterday. Just because you love your job. Yes. It, it, if I didn't love it, I would have been gone a long time ago. A Canaryville native, the fire service runs in his blood. Brothers Joe and John on the left, his dad Joe Sr., and there's Frank with the cool shades and then brother Jerry. As an officer, he said job one was keeping his firefighting team alive and well. Not a day goes by that I don't worry about that. My, my priority is their safety. Frank is the last CFD member to take part in the 1980 strike. We came on in a different time. Former Commissioner Jose Santiago was in that same 1979 class. You had to buy your own gear. Uh, yeah, you had to buy your own gear, your own dress uniform. Um, there was no there was no such thing as overtime back then. Santiago and Jimmy O'Donnell, now retired as well, say the union went to battle with then Mayor Jane Byrne, striking for 23 days until she surrendered. Like I said, we had no overtime. Our apparatuses were bad. We didn't even have masks Joe, you to were wear. Fighting for life and death stuff. Absolutely. We 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 went on strike because of equipment. Uh, to make things better uh, for us to be able to survive, to be better firefighters. O'Donnell says the Cambrias saved his life. Jerry's dad, Joe Sr., and his brother Joe saved my life, threw a ladder to me at a fire on the Devon Hotel over here. You were uh, stuck up there, right? I was hanging out a window and they, there you go. I think that's Jimmy O'Donnell. Let's throw him a ladder. So as he segues into the next chapter, the Cambrias will remain a fixture on the department. I'm so proud. In the form of Frank's son, Anthony. His name carries a lot of weight. He's a great guy. Uh, I learned a lot from him. A lot of guys have learned from him. 42 years of experience. He's got a lot to share. And with some younger ones still at home, he won't be napping his days away. That's for sure. So I'll be busy. I got two kids that play travel hockey. I'll be really busy. I'll be an Uber dad. Congratulations. It should be noted that Frank's sister worked for 9112, again, public service in their blood, giving to others a Cambria tradition.